Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting St. Petersburg, Russia's pyre chained to ossuaries on Dawn Breed and Caligari Records. And we're also going to be smoking some Super Diesel. Um, a heavy sativa. So, if you have shit to do, like I do today, let's see how this, you know, all works out. But, Pyre, Chain to Ossuaries, Caligari sent this over, and this is some fucking death metal. And... I feel like this is very heavily influenced by Entombed, Dismember, Grave, those suspects, but done extremely well to where it sounds just like death metal. Not melodic death metal, not death and roll, this is fucking death metal. And that's what's so awesome about Pyre. Like, they could have completely went the HM2 worship route and just made a left-hand path clone, but they didn't. They went the opposite way. Like, it reminds me just of 90s death metal. Just like yesterday's Masochist. It just had that 90s feel to it. Listen to this shit, it's awesome. And that's why I really like Pyre Chained to Ossuary. It's like, it's just death metal. And it's very enjoyable, catchy death metal without being overly melodic or anything. It's fucking cool. Like, just like yesterday's Masochist, like, it's not stadium death metal, but like, it does come from like, that place, but that's just as an influence, like, there was a time period, and what I mean by stadium death metal, I'm sorry, it's still. What I mean by stadium death metal is like when Morbid Angel and stuff got signed to Giant, which is a subdivision of Warner Brothers. You're obviously working with a bigger budget and you want to have a bigger sound. Same thing with like Carcass working with Columbia and just listen to heart work. Listen to the production and stuff. Like, just that kind of Cannibal Corpse of the Bleeding is a perfect example. It's catchy death metal. It has hooks. And that's what makes it stand out. Because I remember when I read Cannibal Corpse, they did a Hall of Fame article on the bleeding. And they were like, yeah, one of our biggest influences was Lenny Kravitz. And I was like, what? And then I started thinking about it, and I was like, so they just wanted to make a catchy death metal record. And they did. And so many bands have done that since then. And before that. So, like, it's just called Stadium Death Metal. Like, Gate Creeper, for example. 
They have death metal with hardcore parts and hooks. And that's what makes it, like, you know, very accessible. The hooks and the melody and just the catchiness and stuff. You might not notice it, but, you know, I forget who said it. Oh, Red Letter Media. You might not have seen it, or in this case, you might not have heard it, but your brain did. And that's one of the things I really like about Pyre. Like... The first couple times I listened to it, I was like, ah, like, it's okay. And then the more I listened to it, I was like, oh, I get it. Like, you know, it's just fucking catchy, but still really fucking heavy death metal. And it's just really enjoyable. And the more I listened to it, the more I just was like, yo, fuck yeah. Like, I'm really liking this. And... You know, normally, if I listen to something, like, I can listen to one track and be like, I want to hear more, like, give me more and more. And, like, here, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, it took me a while to, you know, get to the point to review it. But, like, when it comes to Chain to Ossuaries by Pyre, fuck yes, grab this. Trust me, it's, even if you're a veteran to the scene... There's something for you in here. To me, this has something for everybody. But today's strain, Super Diesel, is a very, very strong indica. It's pretty much purple. It's kind of hard to see. But I have my phone. It's, hold, it's being held up by my tin. So I apologize. So let's dive into this as well. It smells fucking gnarly. Like I can tell you that. Like I do love sour diesel. So I'm, um, you know, pretty interested in this. No boof. That is tasty. Oh, fucking egg. Wow. That, like, unless you smoke, yeah, I know you're probably like, look at this fucking guy. It, it, it just like has this burst of taste buds and it's amazing. <laughs> Unless you smoke, like, you won't get why I'm, like, smiling right now. Because my mouth tastes like just a million flavors of, like, fruit. It, it's awesome. Wow, I'm taking another fucking hit of this. Now, when it comes to Pyre, you get 10 tracks of Russian death metal. Very, very catchy stuff. And at the same time, it's still heavy as fuck. Caligari Records is not playing around when it comes to their death metal roster in 2021. And in 2020 as well, they were fucking just killing it. And this year is no different. They're one of, in my opinion, the top four death metal labels right now that aren't just death metal labels. Like, there's some labels that are just death metal labels for the most part. But Caligari can put out, like, some fucking crust punk, like, stench core, and, you know, cool shit. And I like that it's not just death metal. Like, they have black metal. They have doom. They have everything under the fucking underground music radar. And I think that's awesome. But when it comes to Pyre, Chain to Ossuaries, catchy, heavy death metal from St. Petersburg, 
that I feel is very easy to jump into and get caught up in. Because at first I wasn't really feeling it due to the catchiness. And I mistaken the catchiness for it not being like heavy. And that's a stupid fucking move on my part. Because the more I listen to this, the fucking heavier it gets. I just sometimes I like, get this dumb mindset. I'm like, you know, it's not, it's not what I was expecting. Cause I honestly was expecting like some death doom metal here. Like I'm, I'm to be honest with you, with the title like Chain to Ossuaries, I was like, all right, this is gonna be a death doom release. So when I heard this, I was kind of like, oh, you know, it changed my expectations but like I'm very glad that you know I gave this more than one chance because I ended up really fucking liking it St. Petersburg Pyre Chain to Ossuaries this is their full length debut I think I know it's a full length though and uh yeah it's a fucking killer like Awesome song titles like Impale the Redeemer, Wreath of Crucifix, Across the Shores of Emerald Fraticals, Ornaments of Bones, Crown of Death, just bad, d disgraced, and dethroned. Awesome fucking song titles. Awesome lyrics. Trust me, this is a banger right here. And I was an idiot and being fucking close-minded the first time I listened to it. And I apologize. Because I always want this channel to be honest. But, like, that's one of the reasons it took me a little bit to review this. I wanted to make sure that I really did like it and I really fucking do. And check out the actual tape. And this is available on vinyl as well, but the tape is fucking cool cosmetically, like with the hands and stuff. Really fucking badass. I I dig it. I think it's taken. Yeah, it's taken from the cover art. I can't pronounce the artist's name, and I apologize again. But yeah, like Saint Petersburg, Russia. Like I would have never fucking guessed. I would have honestly thought this was either an American band or a band coming from Sweden or Finland. But, like, knowing that this is Eastern European death metal, like, yo, fucking A. Their scene is gnarly. They have some awesome bands. And now throwing Pyre into that fire, you know... You're getting even more fucking heat out of the scene. And that's awesome. And I'm really digging this Super Diesel. And speaking of 420, as lame as that sounds, A Cursed Womb, the 2020 compilation. It's going to be dropping on Molten Face Records. And that is the first press. And that is the European press. But... It's going to be 50 yellow tapes and 50 clear tapes. I don't know how many we're getting. I don't know what color we're getting ourselves. I hope it's a mix, honestly. I, I hope, like, you know, it's 25 yellow, 25 clear. Because it's 100 tape pressing for the European release. And then we have Verminosis doing the American release, which... I'm very, very, very fucking stoked about. Because, like, I was on uh, Nuclear War Now a couple days ago, and I saw Cursed, C Cursed Relic, and then I saw fucking Foul, and I was like, oh shit, like, I know it's lame, and, like, I'm geeking for no reason, but, like, it's like, dude, like, you know, that... This is the same website, like, I order Conqueror records off of. Like, I just think stuff like that's kind of cool. I don't know. I know it's fucking stupid, but, like, to me, that's a big deal. Like, you know, like, 
seeing something that, you know, we made out of nothing be on a website, like, that I would be buying music on anyway, like, I think that's fucking sick, uh, I'm sorry, like, I'm just very, very stoked right now like thank you and hails to molten face records and verminosis records like just for you know liking our music enough to put it out physically like that means a lot like i didn't even think i would make music again and now i'm like kicking myself in the ass for sleeping on something that i always liked doing and i didn't suck at like i'm not trying to kiss my own ass, but I don't suck at my vocals. I like the way my vocals sound, and you need to be, like, fucking confident when it comes to vocals and stuff like that. Even in your guitar playing, your drumming, if you record something and you know you can do better, then fucking do better. Like, especially if somebody's putting money into your band, like... Show some fucking respect or fucking leave. For real. Like, I, I just don't get it sometimes. Like, when I see people half-ass something or, like, I don't know. Or, like, do, like, a money grab type thing. It's just like, dude, man, like, show some respect. It's like, be cool. But this Super Diesel, it's making me talk like a fucking idiot. But, like... I'm definitely, like, it, this is strong. This is not some, this is not, like, beginner bud here. I can definitely tell you that. It's, I don't have, I, I'm not baked enough, but I, if you smoke the blunt of this to the head and you're not, like, you know, a big smoker, you're gonna probably have a bad time. Like, seriously, you're probably gonna have a, semi mushroomy psychedelic type vibe because this really has like it it makes everything like i can't stop like that that light i want to look at that light and just like giggle and i'm trying not to and i, I don't get like that ever when i i normally i try to stick the hybrids but i was like you know i'll get i want to get a sativa fuck it like and, you know, that's probably what really made me honestly change my mind about Pyre was like, you know, I, I got ripped and I listened to it and it just sounded, I, I just got it, it clicked. But I really like it now and now, you know, it's on my weekly playlist this week. Like I made a little stack of tapes and LPs. I forgot, okay. This is one of those other records that it took a little bit of time for me to enjoy. And now that David's out of Hyperdontia, hearing him on vocals here, holy shit. This is an awesome fucking record. Like, at first I was kind of disappointed and I, I, I was just being a salty, like, fucker at that point probably. But, like, or I was just, like, burned out. But the when I went back and listened to it, I was like, holy fuck, this record is awesome. And, like, I really like Matthias' vocals, but, like, Dave, dude, oh, man. From Abhorrence Veil vale to, like, A Flesh Vessel to Nexus of Teeth, I, I love Dave's vocals. He's fucking great. But I'll tell you who else is fucking great. You ladies and gentlemen at home watching. Caligari Records for sending this bad boy over and introducing me to Pyre and Chain to Ossuaries. Don't Breathe Records. Fuck yeah. But you ladies and gentlemen at home. Seriously, thank you so fucking much for supporting and watching this channel. You fucking rule. Who's?